Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Sample Paper Discussions. We are in Chapter 3 talking about Agile testing methods, techniques and tools. And as we have a lot of questions here to talk about, so we are looking forward to add more value by discussing some more questions here today. And uh, we shall be looking at our next question. That is question number 35. Well, so next question for our day is, of course, question number 35, and it says, which of the following are the examples of testable acceptance criteria for test-related activities? I think here, again, it is one of those kind of questions where everything depends on the given options, and uh, it's very important for us to keep in account that we read the options very carefully before we conclude on the right answer. So number one and most important thing here is they're talking about acceptance criteria. That means all they're asking you is to check your capability on reviewing an acceptance criteria. And it totally depends on the options provided to you. So of course there are five options here. So you must select two of them as the right answer, right? So make sure it will be specified as it is mentioned here that you read the question carefully I'll go with all the con conditions and information provided to you. So the option A we have is structure based testing. It says white box testing in addition to black box testing is used. Um, uh, I hope you understand the question, right? You know, they're, they're, they're asking you which of the following are examples of testable acceptance criteria. That means what are the one which are non-testable should not be selected. Ah, that's a lot of confusion, right? It says which are the testable. So just start eliminating the one which you cannot test. Now, a, option A says structure-based testing. If you remember from your fundamentals or basic discussions of Agile as well, structure-based is synonym of white box, right? Not black box. So if you say me that structure-based testing, under that what you're trying to do, you're saying white box testing in addition to black box testing is used. Now, of course, structure-based testing is not meaning of both of them. So it is limited to white box only, okay? For white box, you have other synonyms as structure-based, transparent, open, clear, and sort of thing, right? So black box and white box are not same. They are different. So structure-based testing cannot be same. So this is an unclear or unachievable acceptance criteria. So we should start rolling out and, you know, eliminating them. B, option B says system testing. And for system testing, there's a criteria that at least 80% of functional regression tests are automated. Now there's a number there, right? Where they are trying to tell you that 80% of executions or functional regression should be automated. So I think this is very, very precise because there's a number given to you. So if you have 100 test cases, all they want is 80 of them should be automated at least. So this looks very, very clear for anyone to achieve and it can be tested. C, security testing, it says a threat risk analysis scan is completed with no false identified. For your kind information, uh, security testing is all about conducting a threat scan, which is vulnerability scan. And uh, if there are no false identified, then that's successful, right? And it's, it's achievable. Why? Because you can conduct a threat scan and see what is the output of that. So that's achievable acceptance criteria. D, performance testing, it says the application is responding in a reasonable amount of time with 5,000 users. Now, I need a justification here, you know? If somebody tells me I need a reasonable amount of time, I don't understand what is reasonable. That's not something specific, that's not something which is precise. So I need to talk to the business on this. I need to talk to the business representative or anyone who can answer me that, what is reasonable amount of time? That's not precise, that's not specific, so I cannot literally test this, right? I need a number there. It's less than or equal to three seconds, less than or equal to five seconds. It's more of like you are asking me to achieve that the requirement is performance of the system should be best in the world. Now, what is best to you? It could be anything. And I cannot test anything, right? It's a very vague, vague, vague acceptance criteria, which I just can't go ahead and give a you know confirmation that I can go and achieve it. Well, looking at option E, it says compatibility testing. The application is working on all major browsers. Come on. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that the major is a rank in army. Okay? Not a criteria to be tested for browser. Because for you, your major browsers could be anything. And for me, major, major browsers could be anything else. 
So say for example, the client says, I want to work it on all major browsers. No, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't have any clarity that what do you mean by major there? I, for me, major is Chrome. For you, major could be Safari. For someone else, major could be Edge or someone else could say like Mozilla Firefox. So I cannot just go and make that suspicious claim that, oh yeah, for me, major is Chrome, so it's working fine on that. And client would say, no, it's not working for me because you're using Safari. So we don't take such vague, unprecise requirements as acceptance criteria, okay? So I think we are pretty much very clear that the testable acceptance criteria are just two here. And the right answer here is B, and C, where B says system testing, which has a number specified there that is at least 80% of functional regression tests are automated. I can go ahead and measure that. When it comes to C, security testing, a threat analysis, risk analysis scan is completed with no faults identified. These are measurable, but structure testing is not black box. Performance testing is not about reasonable amount of time and compatibility is not about major browsers. They are vague. They have to be more clear and to the point. Well, moving on to the next question here, question number 36, a little lengthy, so I want you to have patience to listen to all the conversation, what we have, and then come to the conclusion. Question number 36 says, given the following user story, which says, as a bank teller, I would like to be able to view all of my customer's bank transaction on the screen. So first of all, you are a bank teller, and you would like to see all my customer's bank transaction, not all the customer's, all transactions is the subject here, okay, on the screen, so I can answer his or her questions. Now, which of the following can be considered as a relevant acceptance test case? That means the business is trying to pick up one of the test cases which are relevant to this particular scenario. One, log in as a bank teller, get the customer's account balance for all open accounts, okay, one. So, Anything wrong with that? Because of course I can log in as a bank teller and get the customer's account balance for all open accounts. Is that somewhere mentioned in the story that you are looking forward to have the balance of different accounts or you're looking at the transaction, right? So it's it's not specific to the transaction history, right? Uh, this story is not talking about the, you know, the expectation, the user story, what is talking about is, I want to view customer's uh, bank transaction on the screen. So in that context, it is uh, something what I need to really take into account is that what is relevant to it. So user story is specific to customer's transaction history, not about the balance of the account, and at the same time for all the open accounts what the customer has, right? So we are conflicting right there. So option one can, option statement one can be not called as a valid acceptance criteria for this or acceptance test case. Two, log in as a bank teller, enter a customer ID and get his transaction history on the screen. That goes completely in line with the expectation. So I'll select two. Three, log in as bank teller, uh, request customer account ID by using name abbreviations and get his transaction history on the screen. See, this is a search feature which I can always give to the bank teller and uh, the resultant what you are having as an acceptance test is transaction history again. So that's what we are demanding as per the user story. So two, three, uh, acceptance test three is also absolutely fine. Four, log in as bank teller again and enter a customer IBAN, which is international bank account number, get his transaction history on the screen, which also makes sense because you're getting at the end of the day, the transaction history is just that like you have different ways to get the customer's transaction history. You can search by name, you can search by customer ID, you can search by the account number or anything else, which brings the account history of the customer on the screen. Because at the end of the day, the story said, so that I can, you know, uh, basically I want to see the transactions on the screen so that I can answer his questions, right? So these three are related to that. Let's look at fifth. It says log in as bank teller, enter the customer account ID get the transaction history in less than three seconds on the screen. Absolutely fine, but the only problem with this is that in the user story, they never mentioned anything about that performance is the expectations, okay? Or they want to have this very fast, very, you know, appropriate. Appropriate is what more, you know, we consider here, 
not what is not mentioned here. So performance was never specified in the user story. It can be, but again, talking about that basic rule of sigma, which you should use in answering the ISTQB examination that always stick to what has been provided to you. You may think of 100 things in your mind that, yeah, of course, performance could be one of the you know parameter of a user story. I do understand and agree to that. But it's not that, you know, if it is not specified, we don't want you to think about it. Simple. So in that context, the options will drive you. If there are any such combinations which you are thinking about, then just take that. But if the options do not support you, then they want to remind you that, hey, we never spoke about performance, right? So in this case, the right answer here is, D, that is two, three, four, where two says you enter customer ID and get the history. Three says uh, requesting the customer ID by using the name of the customer and getting the transaction history. And fourth says using the IBAN, which is international bank account number, and again getting the transaction history. Okay, well, that was the two questions what we had for this tutorial. And... Um, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team.